when you purchase your reinforced tarpaulin from Ben Watts websites, and of course I recommend you do, you buy your, or if you want to make fish pond, you buy your reinforced tarpaulin from Ben Watts so you can get the genuine quality, the, the one that is particularly made for fish pond, so you avoid fakes. So when you buy the tarpaulin or you place an order and it's yet to arrive, the next step to take actually is to approach a welder. As if you intend to use galvanized pipe to set it your tarpaulin fish pond up, you approach a welder, which I have done in this case. So I approached this particular welder and I gave him the dimension. This is four feet by six feet, like this, and by four feet height, of course. The standard height from Benoit is four feet. So I approached him and then I explained what I wanted using this particular picture on Benoit's website. I told the welder that I wanted something that would be able to that the pipes will pass it through the tarpaulin on the tops for all the edges and then it's going to have stand so i just to hold the tarpaulin in place so he saw this picture and it was very easy for him to understand okay and then we now have to decide on what the sizes the thickness i mean the diameter of each of these pipes will be so we arrived at the the for these sides for this size it should be 1.5 inches and of course, you know, this is all the all four feet height. So four feet into four places about 15 feet. And then in the market, the, the length of the standard length of any galvanized pipe is usually 18 feet. So four feet into four places, that's 16 feet minus 18. 18 minus 16, that's remaining two. So the world actually cut out some pieces from the remaining two feet. You can see this short piece here. He cut out the piece and then he welded it onto the onto the stand as we can see here he welded this like this and of course there's another one like that and the purpose is that so that this a smaller pipe a pipe that is smaller in the diameter can fit can just go into this 1.5 inches and fit in so we have 1.5 inches here and here okay and then we now went for this one we went for something a bit lower than 1.5 inches which is one one quarter and it worked very well. So this 1.5 inches we bought a length for 2,900. For this one of one quarter we bought a length for 2,800. So that's what you have here. 1.5, 1.5, 1 one quarter. So for this, concerning these ones here, these frames you have here, Benoit actually recommends that for every one feet height that you load up water. You should have a frame across to make the arrangement solid okay so we have a frame here we have a frame you can make it three but i'll just need two here so for this how do we put this frame this frame actually goes like this and then down like this and then down so where do will this thing that comes down fit you know for this frame we need we made it to be one inch this particular so the one inch we bought it for 1900 so the welder cut out a piece of this one one quarter that's which is what you have here welded it to this stand welded it to this stand okay so the one inch can fit into the one one quarter easily so that is exactly what you have so when we agreed on the the sizes and then i con we confirmed the price from the market i had the welder buy the pipes and transport them to his workshop so you can see you can see here these are the pipes he bought and then he started work he started measuring the I, this is the the stand so measuring four feet and cutting you can see cutting the stands and then making this of course this particular of cut is the one he attached there's this attachment here so so after that, okay, he cut the other pieces, the four feet, six feet, like that. And then he started his welding. You can see he has welded this. And then you can see, so just after welding and making these attachments here, it's just to just fix up the, the whole thing. Now, it's important to know that there is need for a base. This is actually a used motorcycle spare part call it disc, you call it sprocket. So the welder actually knows the way he knows how to get these things. So he got and then he put it all around just to make the base to be solid and balanced. So you can have a look at this, how 
this is one one quarter this is one inch fitting into one one quarter okay so that's just it okay so here he is um, making a hole while this one one quarter is fitting in, into this one and half inch he want he is making a hole through both of them so that he can use both and not to tight them and make it even stronger which is a good thing so you can see these things they have holes and then these ones here you have holes so when it's the when this is fixed into this it can you can use both and not to tight them so that's just it see when the whole thing is ready and then this is the remaining galvanized by these two pieces you can take it and whatever you want to do with that so i'm now going to make another video of how to attach the reinforced tarpaulin from Benoit onto this uh, galvanized pipe. So you can actually start constructing your galvanized pipe with or without the reinforced tarpaulin, just as far as you know the dimension that you bought from the company. So that is it. If you have any question, you can go down to the comment and ask.